Several people have asked me about the ruffles under my kitchen cabinets. They want to know if I made them, and if so, if I could make a video showing them how to do it. Uh, it's real easy to do, and uh, however you do it will be dependent on the tools that you have to work with. Uh, with these, I finished the hem on the bottom with my serger sewing machine. And uh, if you don't do much sewing, you probably don't have a serger, but I could show you uh, how that is just to give you an idea. It's hard to see the hem on that fabric, so I'm going to show you on these shears that I did. Uh, it's easier to give you an idea of the type of hem you get off that serger. This is what a serger looks like if you've never seen one. If you do a lot of sewing, this is a great thing to have. It gives you seams like store-bought clothes. And I don't have it set up for that narrow hem, but I'm going to run a piece of material through here to show you how easy this goes. It will do all that stitching in just one pass through the machine. But if you're asking how to make ruffles, you most likely don't have a serger, so I'm going to show you other ways to uh, finish the edges of the strips of material that you would be turning into ruffles. One of the easiest ways to finish the edges is to just make the material double-sided, and I do this whenever the material would likely be seen from both sides. And I'll show you how to do it. Uh, this ruffle here is double sided like that. To make a ruffle like that, I cut the fabric a little over twice as wide as I want the ruffle to end up um, because you need to add a little for your seam allowance. Then I just fold it in two right sides together and I stitch along the edge. Then I'll turn it right side out and iron it, and then you have. Uh, the two finished edges with very little effort. Since this is just a short strip of material, I'm turning it with a pair of scissors, but if you had a real long strip, which you most likely would have, you could use a broom handle to do this. Now keep in mind here, I'm not actually making anything, I'm just trying to show you these techniques, so this is uh, looking kind of sloppy. <laughs> But if you iron this flat, then you'll end up with a strip of material with two nice finished edges. Uh, this method takes up a lot more material than the next method of hemming them I'll show you. You could roll the edges of the fabric and then stitch it down with your machine, but this way will take you forever. Uh, there's an easier way. You can buy an attachment for your sewing machine. This is a hemming foot, and it's a quarter inch. They might come with sewing machines these days. My machine is very old. I got it as a graduation present when I graduated from high school. But I looked online, and they sell these for $10 or less. Depends on what type of machine you have. It's well worth the money. When I use this foot, I'll turn a little of the material just to get it started. Take a couple of stitches, and then with the needle in the down position, I'll feed the material into the little cone that's on this attachment. Then after that, all you have to do is feed the material through the foot. It will turn it and stitch the hem down all in one uh, shot. Here's a close-up view so that you can see how that little foot will turn the fabric and then stitch it down. Does a nice job, and you can get these in different widths. I think there's an eighth inch hem, a half inch hem, all different sizes. I prefer the quarter inch. So that's how that turns out, and it beats the heck out of turning all that material by hand. Once you have the fabric hem, then you can ruffle it, and I'm just going to give you a general idea here. You could do it by hand with a needle and some sturdy thread, and just run a stitch through the fabric, and then gather it up. I'm just doing a real quick sloppy job of this. Uh, but another way you could do this is to lay a heavy piece of thread across the top of your material, then run a zigzag stitch across th that. But you have to be careful not to hit that thread with your needle, or else um, you won't be able to pull that on that thread and then gather your material along it. Now, the easiest way to make the ruffles is with a ruffling foot. And... These run about $25 or so, depending on what type of machine you have. And this is well worth the money if you are going to make a lot of ruffles. The way this works is this foot will push the material and bunch it up, and then the needle will come down and stitch it in place. 
and you can set this to different fullnesses you can make it pleat you can do a lot of things with this to use this just feed the material through and out comes ruffles <laughs> couldn't be easier this ruffler really beats doing all this by hand believe me and I have run miles of fabric through this ruffler uh, it's really held up well I did a lot of sewing years ago but the last 10 years or so I haven't done hardly anything so that's how you can easily make ruffles I hope it helps